can't accept the loss, I'm hard-headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great and I'm not letting nobody ride. Welcome back, everybody, to The Reset Project, episode number three. Um, today I want to talk about uh, a little topic that I've really been thinking about because I've been working with myself on developing on how to become an operator and what that really means. So I want to start off with like everybody has different goals, whether that's weight loss, whether that's building a business, um, just getting better with yourself, working on your personal development, you know, you're you're listening to this because there is some sort of inner voice inside of you saying you can do better. You want to be better. There's something that you need to accomplish in your life and you just don't know how to do it. One of the things that I've really been working on and just following up with a lot of different people that are successful out there, the true winners that accomplish their goals, is they all have one thing in common. They become operators, whether... You are an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, um, somebody who is just getting better with their life. You have to treat yourself as an operator. And what does that mean? Right. So we're going to dig a little deeper into that. And you need to start thinking about, you know, how you're going to obtain your goals. Like, what is your why? The goal of what you're wanting to do. You want to lose weight? Do you want to build a better business? Do you want to be better with your relationship, build a, an amazing relationship with your husband or wife, your spouse? Do you want to uh, do something for your kids? Um, what is your why, right? What we, we need to dig into that, okay? And that's something that everybody has that is different. It may be that you want to lose weight and run a 5K or participate in a 5K or a marathon, a half marathon, uh, maybe it's a weightlifting competition that um, that you feel that you've always wanted to do but never had the resources to do that. You have to start with yourself. And to do that, you have to become an operator. And to become that operator, you have to start treating yourself like a business, okay? And look at how businesses, successful businesses are run, right? They have an organization. They have timelines. They have the ability to get things done to save money, to have revenue, to build, right? And maintain, okay? Businesses, successful businesses maintain and they increase revenues. So they build themselves. They hire more people. They operate as such. You need to treat your life as an operator, like a business, okay? So we get back into the why, understanding what that why is, right? So say... For example, you want to lose weight um, to do a 5K, right? That That is a goal. That is reality. That is something that you know that you can obtain, right? Maybe the goal is, I want to, I want to start a business and earn $5 million in the next 10 years, okay? Perfect. You have the goal that is in reality. I would not suggest making a goal that says, I want to be in business and I want to make a hundred million dollars next year. Probably not going to happen. You're going to fail like everybody else, but get with reality. Okay. Building a goal. Perfect. Get it in reality, knowing that it's obtainable. Next step. Third step, create the formula on how to get there, right? You can just sit there and go, oh yeah, I'm going to lay down in bed tonight and I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to start and I'm going to be, I'm going to be the next Donald Trump or the Jeff Bezos or whoever, right? Or I'm going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and I'm going to uh, have the dream body and be in my next film. Probably not going to happen in the next week or two. Okay. Let's just get that straight, but create what is reality, create the goal, understand it. So say, yes, let's go back to, I want to run a 5K or I want to do the 5K, right? Some, some people want to walk it, jog it, whatever. But say that's a goal. That's a that's a re realistic goal. Set the time frame. I want to do this in two, three, four months, okay? Perfect. Next step. You've got the goal. You've got where you want to be. Now it's create the formula. What is it going to take to get there? So now you have to either change your diet, create a workout plan 
whether that's walking every single day, walking twice, or you're walking in the morning, running in the afternoon, something, okay? Sitting there on the couch thinking about this and then starting to do it a week before the 5K, you are not going to achieve your goal. You might be able to run it, but you're going to die probably when you get to the end of it, okay? Let's be realistic, set the goal, create the formula on how to get there. If it's a business, you want to be successful in that business. You say, hey, I got I got a plan. I'm going to pour concrete driveways. And I've been doing it since I was a kid. Now I'm going to open the door. But I want to pour custom concrete driveways. I want to do $5 million business in the next five years, right? A million dollar revenue increase every single year for the next five years till I'm at $5 million. Perfect. You have the goal. You've set a realistic goal. Now create the formula. How are you going to do that? Okay. You become the operator. At that point, you are functioning as the owner, the vice president, the accountant, the employee of your own personal body business, okay, of what you're doing, right? You got to get your health in order. You got to get your finances in order. You have to get everything else in order. And it doesn't matter what the goal is. You just have to get these things done, okay? Building habits to lead to success, So those habits are going to be, I'm going to get on a macro-based diet so I can run this 5K. I'm going to start working out at these time frames, okay? I need to get up in the morning an extra half hour or 45 minutes earlier so I can get that extra walk-in every day, okay? Start creating the habits that lead to success, okay? You're not going to get any of this if you don't do that. If you're in the business, how what what is the goal? Okay, you got the goal. You've got the focus. You've got the reality. Now, what is the habit? What is that? What is that that blueprint for you business owners out there to get to that success? What is going to lead you there? Okay, get surrounded with people who are already doing this. Period. Surround yourself with people like this. This goes to the people that are trying to have self-development with weight loss or personal development, whatever that be. Surround yourself with people. Start getting on the Facebook groups, okay, with people who have run 5Ks. There's millions of Facebook groups out there. Constantly get flooded with this stuff every single day, guys. It's out there. You can get on it. Surround yourself with these people. Ask questions, okay? Get on the gym, Run next to somebody who's at the treadmill. Ask them what they're doing, how long they've been doing it. Get open, okay? You're an operator now. The self-development of yourself. If if you're too shy to ask somebody in the gym, when you're running, okay, I get it. But you, you, I'm sure you can ask somebody on Facebook, Instagram, uh, X or whatever they call it, Twitter. Um, there, There's opportunities out there for you to surround yourself with people that have the same goals that you're like-minded with so you can get there, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something about these goals. As you as you become an operator and you get better and better at, at becoming your personal own brand, right, your business, right, the business of who you are, these whys and goals are going to change. They are going to develop and evolve the better you get. I'm going to tell you this. It happens to every single person, okay? Throw me feedback on this. I will tell you a lot of people... Look, I started out with, I'm going to do X in the gym. And now halfway through that goal, as as I'm accomplishing it, that's great. Now the goal has changed and I've increased things because I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting uh, the uh, ability to to lift heavier weights. Things are happening, right? Whether it's your business, right? So you say, hey, I'm I'm doing really good with the, say, the concrete businesses we're talking about. And my goal was $5 million in five years. But in the first year, we did $2.5 million because I'm kicking ass. That goal is going to change. Now that outlook might be $7 million in five years. That's good. We want to increase the goals. We want to keep challenging ourselves. Okay? This is where we need to get competitive. We need to get competitive with the people around us. But we also need to get competitive with ourselves. The competition internally is the greatest competitor. You are going to fight yourself on the days that you don't want to do these things, right? You don't want to show up and you don't want to go to work. You don't want to show up and go to the gym. You don't want to show up at the kitchen, right? When it's time to eat that meal that you need that high protein intake because you just ran four miles, right? The the banana bread looks really good right then and there, right? That comfort food. This is where you need to get competitive with yourself and say, I'm going to beat 
that inner bitch of myself, okay? And I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get it done and be competitive around the people around you. Surround yourself with people, great like-minded people, because you know what? They're going to do this exact same thing. If they're operators, they are going to get competitive with you. And you guys are going to feed off of that energy. That is good energy, being competitive with each other, okay? So we want to get competitive. Get competitive with people that you don't like too. That's okay. If you see somebody that uh, that is not operating like you think you should be operating, get competitive and do better. Look, better yourself any way possible. I don't mean put people down, but there's nothing wrong with working harder than the next guy. We want you to work harder. Everybody should be trying to strive to be better in life, period, no matter what they're doing. Okay? Not everybody was born a winner. You didn't come out of the womb a winner. You have to work for this. This is something you have to develop. And the the farther that we get into the technological era, I mean, we're 2024. Our cell phones are the smartest supercomputer alive. We have AI at the touch of a button. We can do whatever. This is now the time that we have to try harder. We have to be the best. We have to do better because we can become lazy and involved and sucked into all of this easiness, the easy button, right? We talk about the reset project. This is the reset. We're not going to sit there and cry in our soup, okay, or our candy or eat ice cream and feel bad about ourselves and get on the phone and do the endless scroll. It's time to get up, be an operator, kick some ass, and go hit it. Yeah. Does it suck? Absolutely. Today I started 75 hard again. Uh, I got 43 days into it, started from January 1st, got 43 days into it, uh, got the stomach flu, boom, failed. I didn't know if I wanted to do it again. I felt so freaking guilty. I talked about this in the last episode, so freaking guilty. And I still do. Once I realized that I knew that I could do this challenge, I needed to complete it. Okay. The operator in me, as this operator is now growing, says, I'm going to do it. It's not, can I do it? If I know I can do it. My goal is reality. I'm going to do it. It's going to be 75 days from now. And if I fail again, I'm going to start right away again. So it might be longer. Hope not. Knock on wood. 75 days. I'm going to kick this thing in the ass. And I've got a bunch of people in the group, uh, on the reset project, Facebook group. If you're not on there, join it, hit the, hit the, uh, join button. We'll get you in there. Um, we got a bunch of people starting today, March 1st. So we're excited. Um, hopefully we can get that whole crew across the finish line and on to the next goal. My goal is to do the live hard program. Is that reality? Absolutely. Can anybody do the live hard program? Yes. I want to do that. As I started 75 hard, my goals changed from wanting to do 75 hard the first time to now evolving and going, I'm going to finish 75 hard and do the live hard program. Okay. If you don't know the Live Hard program in 75 Hard, look at, look up uh, Andy Frisella's uh, Real AF, uh, episode 208, I think it is. Uh, you can get that on Spotify. Go check it out. He'll explain everything there, okay? It's the, be- it's the best mental reset program out there that I know of, um, unless one day I get lucky enough to create one of my own. Um, but yeah, it's badass, guys. So let's circle back a little bit, you know. Self-control. Let's get into self-control. As an operator, you got to be on point. Think of yourself as the president of a company, right? And you have to make sure that everybody around you uh, is going to be successful, right? And if the people that aren't successful as a president of a company, what do you do? You get rid of them. This is what you're going to have to do in your life. You're going to have to separate yourself from people that are going to bring you down, okay? You have to get away from those and get back into that circle of like-minded people that we talked about before, these competitors that are great people to be around, okay? They're going to compete with you, but they're also going to bring you up, okay? You got to get away from that. If 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 you're trying to lose weight and you're around a bunch of fat people and all they do is want to eat and bitch and complain and moan and bring you down, you have to get away from them, period. Leave. Love you. Got to go, okay? Because they're just going to drag you down. You're going to go right in the same spot you were before. You can't have that. We can't do that got to be an operator, make the decision, build yourself up, get around other like-minded individuals and get competitive. Okay. Get competitive. Self-control. Got to have that self-control. Start developing habits that are going to bring more self-control. 
it takes time. Nobody has self-control. Once again, they're not, you aren't born a winner. You're not born with self-control, right? We want to indulge, especially in our society now. Everybody is indulged. It doesn't matter what you indulge. You can you think, oh, indulging in food, bullshit. You can indulge in the phone. You can indulge in things that you should not be doing. The, the, the endorphins in your body love a lot of things out there, right? Comfort, the comfort zone. You got to have self-control to get out of that, okay? Whether that's eating, looking at your phone, sitting there watching Netflix all damn day, whatever that is, get out of that. Get out of that. The, the, the more you push yourself out of the comfort zone, you gain self-control, you will build the why and the goals and become stronger and the better operator. Look, guys, as you start to develop this, this is a challenge. This is something that is going to take time. It's not going to happen. You're not going to wake up on Monday, today's Friday, and go, boom, I'm the freaking president of my own company. I am the operator. Yes, you can say that, but you're not going to be the best yet. You have to build into that. But that's going to take self-control, perseverance, building goals, taking focused approach, and getting around like-minded people, and being competitive. Get competitive. I'm not going to say that enough. Like you're going to hear me talk about being competitive with everything you do, right? The biggest competitor is you against you, okay? Enjoy the com competition and the camaraderie you have with the like-minded people that your new friend group's going to be around, but your biggest competitor is you. The person who's going to want to have that, you know, soda pop at the end of the day, that's going to be you or the beer or whatever it is bad. You know, if you're smoking cigarettes, get off that shit. Okay? It is not doing you any favors. Get off of these vices. You are going to be better off. As you start to build yourself as an operator, you are going to be the support group. You're going to be the mountain for everybody around you. Your family's going to go, holy shit. Look what he's doing. Look what she's doing. She is changing herself. She, It's going to resonate on other people, okay? Your positivity, your interactions, you're going to be above all of that negative crap, and people are going to see that, and they're going to get on your train, or they're going to get out of your way, okay? And you're going to know that really quick. But the people that get on your train, okay, don't let them hold you back. Let them be an operator of their own, okay? Teach them what you're doing. Tell them what's going on and how you're getting there. Help them create goals. But if they want to start dragging you down, Okay, if they're hitting the brakes, eject them. Got to go, right? Just like an operator of a major Fortune 500 company. Somebody who's pulling their weight, got to go. That's the same thing around, that's the same operation that you got to have around your people around you, okay? So get the self-control, choose your circle, you know, get competitive. Can't, can't say that enough. Get competitive. Create your formula, stick to it, write it down. Like I've got, uh, I've got, um, boards that I have things written down, my goals written down, but I also have, uh, like my biggest thing is I, I'm big on vision boards. And if you don't know what a vision board is, look it up, Google, we can talk about that in another episode, but I've got a vision board and it's right here at my office in front of me. I'm looking at that thing every day. Okay. And the people that I know that are most successful out there. The Ed Milets, the, uh, the, the everybody out there, they will tell you the vision board is on point, okay? You got to have this, right? The, that is my goal. I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to attain it. I want to think about it. I want to look at why I'm doing it. That's my why, right? I have pictures on there that are a vehicle. I've got uh, a hunt that I want to do, the house I want, you know, some toys that I want on there. That those are my those are this is why I'm doing this. This is why I am doing everything I want to get. I have a little bit of everything on there, right? My my physical activity. Okay. I've got shout out to Cameron Haynes. I got Cameron Haynes on there. I'd love to do an outcome with that guy. Um, that's gonna take that's that's a that's a goal. Is it a reality, a realistic goal? Yeah, I believe it is because uh anybody can hunt with anybody they want. Uh, but to be able to be physically in shape to do that with that dude, um, that that I got to get there, right? I got to get to that point. Um, do I want to be successful in life? Absolutely. I want to build, build or buy the house of my dreams. That's why I have that picture. Yes, I do. Um, that's what I'm working for. I want everybody around me to have that same success as well. I want to build everybody up. It's not me, uh, you know, kicking everybody else on the world. I'm doing this podcast to help other people because I have found this success, this solution, this opportunity 
to help other people, but also share all the things I'm learning. And I'm not doing everything right and I'm not doing everything wrong. I'm still learning and I stumbled. That's what we need to do. But we need to work as operators, build the formula, build the goal, get the like-minded people, get competitive, have self-control, choose that circle. That's right. Get with those like-minded people and operate. You guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.